Hey everybody, Fred Minnick here, about to jump into uh, the Frey Ranch uh, Malted Grain Series. The, we've got a quad malt, and then we have a malted corn. <laughs> I'm excited about the malted corn. Uh, the quad malt, quad malt, quad malts, mash bill of 66.6% dent corn, 10% winter wheat, 11.4% uh, winter rye, and 12% two-row barley. You can see that right there on the label. How about that? I love it when a distillery puts all that information on the label. Isn't that cool? I love that. Absolutely love that. And the uh, this is uh, the malted uh, the malted corn is 100% uh, uh, yellow dent corn. Um, and I have actually seen uh, malted malted corn. If you know what malting is, is essentially uh, enacting germination and these little sprouts will, will come up in the corn. I remember seeing like these little sprouts coming up in the corn uh, while it was germinating without uh, you know any soil nearby. And it is uh, a really, really a fascinating process to explore. So basically it steeps, germinates, um, and it essentially uh, malts during that process as it's like kind of like drying out. And they're in, in Scotland. They're you know famous for malting houses and everything. Well, we have them in America as well. Um, I'll, you know, if you can go down a rabbit hole talking about malting. Uh, I'll go ahead and put some information in the description about it, uh, as well as description on uh, the the Frey Ranch. Uh, I know you all always like to get price points, so I'm going to go to the Google real quick to find out the price points because I didn't have them in my press release that I received or the notes that I have on it. So. Going to the Google right now. I'm going to press pause on this recording so I can come back with the proper information and you don't yell at me in the comment section. Where's the pricing? <sighs> I'm working on it. All right. So it's $60 for a 375. Uh, and actually, this this was just uh, this was just released. So uh, you're looking at for the for the quad malt, it's five years and 10 months. So just share just a hair sh uh, shy of six years. Uh, same with the malted corn. So I'm excited to taste these uh, a little bit more about Frey Ranch. Uh, it's a, you know, a, a husband, wife owned uh, ranch in Nevada. Great story. We're going to start with the quad malt. Again, you can find more information in the description about these products. And uh, you can see, you can see the little bottle here. Oh, <laughs> they do have a nice bottle. But five years—that's uh, a quite the, quite the, um, quite the accomplishment for a small distillery. So, congratulations for hitting that five-year mark, guys. Oh, uh, right as I'm getting into this, one thing I want to uh, remind you all of: just started a charity auction to benefit the Florida victims uh, of the hur recent hurricanes. I'll have that in the description as well. This is running from December 1st through December 15th. If you get a chance, go in there, take a look. We're dropping new items every day. We're starting off with around 60 items, but if you can bid, I'd appreciate it. It'll help. Uh, it'll help someone rebuild their home, and you know it's very important. And I'll have an auction preview probably next week. But please, please, please go in there and uh, and and check that out. Uh, so here we go. This is the quad malt, and it's quad fr frantastic. I think <laughs> on the nose smells like um, it smells like cereal. It smells like a bag of cereal, like getting freshly opened. Some sugarish kind of smells in there, and then like the corn flaky. Mm. Oh, wow. Now, this is a bourbon. I read the mash bill earlier, but holy cow. This is amazing. Uh, comes in at 90 proof. Feels very velvety on the palate. Uh, a little bit like butter. Um, notes of chocolate, hazelnut. Going back to this frosted cornflakes note. Yeah, this is like a kid's this is like kid's cereal 
in a glass. Frey Ranch Malted Grain Series Quad Malt Bourbon. Yummy. Mm. All right. Now we're going to go to the 100% malted corn. Now, I don't want to say that this is the first time this has ever been done because I haven't done the research on it to find out because anytime... I don't like saying that unless I've spent a couple days researching that. But to my knowledge, uh, at least in the contemporary sense, I have not seen 100% malted corn before. Uh, that doesn't mean it, it hasn't been done before. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Uh, it just means I haven't seen it. So, um, you know, when I get to researching, like anytime. So I remember the, the fella um, came out with this 45-year-old bourbon couple years ago and he said this is the oldest bourbon ever released well that wasn't actually true i mean i researched it and found some 40 like 7 and 48 year old bourbon released in the uh, uh late 1800s uh and then again in the early 1900s so while it may be the first one to be released in the contemporary sense it definitely is not the first one ever so i'm always very hesitant about you know claiming something as the first unless i've had the time to research it and uh when i research i really research uh okay so i don't just do a google uh so here we go uh this is the malted grain series from frey ranch 100 percent malted corn Ooh. oh my let's see what's the proof on this bad boy 110 proof Um, huh. Leather and plastic. Actually smells like plastic, like burnt plastic. Well, thank God it doesn't taste like burnt plastic. I was getting nervous. That might... That note might not be an accurate uh, depiction. But if you take a look here, if you take a look at this uh, cork, you know, it's a synthetic cork. Um, and I'm not saying that's what caused it, uh, that plasticky smell, but that is an actual, you know, it's a synthetic uh, plasticky kind of note if you smell it and it's been in the heat or something like that. But I definitely smelled burnt plastic on the nose. Now, getting away from that, um, yeah, it's still there. But definitely there's a leather note. Uh, the palate is like corn pudding. Corn pudding, um, big old peeping mess of it. You definitely know this is corn. Um, there's, without a doubt to me, that there's some sweetness here, but it's like a corn pudding sweetness. So if you like corn pudding, the 100% malt definitely is going to be your jam. If you do not like corn, well, you probably should stay away from this. And I would probably dismiss my, um, my call out to the plastic note too in the nose. I'm very sensitive to that. I'm very sensitive to oak and plastic. So uh, at the very least, I would say that has some astringency there. But the palate is just a corn pudding city. Yeah. Uh, I will say that I like the I like the 100% corn malt. Not as much as I thought I was going to, but I like it. I do recommend buying it, uh, especially if you are a corn pudding fan. Um, but the quad malt, this one right here. Yeah. 90 proof uh this one is a home run and should be added by just about everybody who is seeking uh seeking out bourbon the only people in my opinion who will not like the quad malt are those who had like an aversion to kids cereal uh kids cereal sugary uh grainy sometimes but for me it's it's where my heart is as a kid you know sitting down with a bowl of cereal and mm, very nice 
But some people don't like that. And uh, if you don't like kids' cereal, if you don't like uh, Frosted Flakes, um, you know, Fruit Loops, things like that, stay away from Quad Mall. But for the rest of you all, I'd say probably 95% of you in the world who love kids' cereal, uh, you will love this Quad Mall. I think this is this is by far the best thing I've tasted out of Frey Ranch. And it's probably going to be, make my top 100 this year. I find that quite tasty. So that top 100 list is coming together, folks. It's coming together. If you have one that you think is going to make the list, you've seen my tastings, or you just have a general hunch that I liked it, uh, put it in the comment section. I'll, I'll be very curious to see how things uh, match up when it uh, when it comes to the end. And uh, if you've been watching me for a while, you probably know my palate by now. So uh, at any rate, thank you all for tuning in. Please go check out that check out that charity auction. You can find it at unicornauctions.com. It's also in the description. And, you know, subscribe. Like the like this video. Tell a friend about it. Be safe out there. Remember, vodka sucks unless it's being used for hand sanitizer. <laughs>